YouTube, what's up, I'm Divide, and this new Hunter build lets you have unlimited and infinite melee, class and grenade energy that really supports your team. Gives you that never ending invisibility whilst gaining damage resistance, and I have to admit, after doing about 30 Master Nightfall speedruns, this build really works well in those endgame activities. I will have a link below and a card to my 14 minute Master Nightfall run with this build so you can see how it plays in action on those endgame activities. So guys, hit that subscribe and stay tuned, because this is definitely a good one. Now I've done quite a few build videos but I've never really enjoyed one like this before. So we're going to dive straight into the setup and show off what it can do. So this is a Hunter Void support build and this build is designed to support your team and keep them alive whilst giving them an insane damage buff. So starting off with our super, we're going with the bottom tree Tether which comes with the vanishing smoke melee that lets you and nearby allies go invisible. With the lockdown perk that lets grenades last twice as long and this surprisingly is actually what really makes the build so good as well especially because we're going to spam grenades every second or two. Then we have the combat provision whilst damaging enemies with a grenade grants melee energy and making allies invisible gives us grenade energy. Now this is also what makes the build especially with what we stack it on top with later. Before the dodge we need the gambler's dodge. This build can still work without it but ideally you really want to go with this otherwise you'll be relying on your allies being invisible to get your invisibility back. But having this will make it easier for solo play as well or if you miss your smoke bomb this will really save you. Then for your grenade go with the vortex. Now for the weapon loadout your primary is more flexible so you can use whatever you prefer but I'd choose a pulse rifle for the build that I'm going with. Then Divinity for our energy and this will help weaken enemies for that 30% debuff and stagger overload champions. For your heavy, again it's kind of flexible so you can choose what you wish, but I feel like a rocket really works best. Now moving on to the helmet, we're going with powerful friends so that when we become charge of light our allies will also and we're really wanting to give our allies everything we can but with this we will get our plus 20 mobility and we want this not only to get our regen up but to also be quick moving around as well before the gauntlets go with radiant light so that when we use our super our allies again will become charge of light and we'll also get that plus 20 strength for our melee regen which isn't really essential but it's nice to have then we have the momentum transfer to reduce our melee cooldown when causing damage with our grenade and i believe this stacks on top with combat provision from our subclass perk but for the chest we're going with a new exotic chest piece here and you can get this from the legend or master lost sectors whenever it's available on rotation so check back daily to see if it's on the moon cosmodrome or europa but what this does is give us a second smoke bomb and gives us and our allies damage resistance when invisible and more importantly gives us our melee back and this is what really makes the build work because we can spam our invisibility but because of that we're getting our grenade every two smoke bombs thrown which is kind of crazy but next up i went with a swift charge so that we become charge of life from pulse rifle kills and have a chance for special ammo to drop for our allies but we also have melee damage resistance and concussive dampener as we're going to be around a lot of enemies at the same time as being invisible but you may still get hit by splash damage and this will really help out with that but for the legs go with heavy handed and this will give us half our melee energy back when we used it while charged with light and this probably isn't needed but it's definitely a help if you're using a build for solo play or your allies are dead then you have this as a backup and that will really save your game but if you have max mobility and strength then you could change this out a little if you want but i choose to stick with it just because i want that guarantee that no matter how bad your aim is throwing an invis you'll always have a new charge ready in seconds but next up we have the reduced melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power and i know this build is now kind of a bit overkill with our ability regen but finally for the class go with sundering glare and this will debuff enemies at a distance by 20 percent on top of your divinity's 30 percent and this can be triggered by divinity as well then I went with distribution to reduce all ability cooldowns when using your dodge near enemies which you'll be doing anyway to get your invis back when you're not around your allies but as for your stats you ideally want to work on getting your mobility to max so you can get your dodge back quicker and again that's good when you're not around your allies but also your strength is good to get to max on top but it's not really essential now I'm not kidding when I told you this ability regen is pretty much infinite when you're near allies just take a look at this example here where I make them invisible twice throw a grenade and repeat but I'll put some gameplay in the background here of my master nightfall where we're around 20 pounds power under the recommended but that doesn't stop me from spamming grenades going invis having unlimited dodges and just having your grenade tear through all the ads so yeah overall i do like this build and i used to prefer the marksman dodge specifically for the instant reloads on top of the invis but that's a better choice if you're going for solo play let me know if you want to see a build on that otherwise that's everything for this quick build guide for the hunter i'll be working on more builds to cover all the other subclasses and classes so don't forget to like comment sub and of course share but for now try this build out and farm those double nightfall rewards and i'll see you all in the next video Thank you.